Good morning guys. So today we are on retro number two as we are unloading the old scale garage video channel onto the new GCM racing channel that you're all familiar with. And today in our number two of our retro series we set up a video about this blue Ford. And more importantly it was not necessarily about the truck because of course we already did a rig review on that on the GCM Racing channel but something very important happened with this part of the truck right here yeah so today we're actually doing a double feature on number two we're gonna talk about how you can take that tire that you like that's just a little too big and turn it into a size of tire that actually fits your rig really well so that's, that's episode number one and the second part of our video today is actually talking about how you can tune the foams in your tires so you get just the right performance that you're looking for on your rig. And we've got a couple of tips for you on that as well. So have a look at the videos today from number two of our retro channel. Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to the GCM Garage. We're going to have a look today at uh, a special on tire cutting. I have uh, completely cured my phobia for tire cutting uh, with this project. And uh, as you know, uh, we like to build a lot of scale trucks here. And uh, today we're working on this uh, 56 Ford. This is a 56 Ford from Proline. And uh, we've got the body just, just started here. There's just the beginnings of the paint is on and there's no uh, trim or lights or anything in it yet. But uh, we were looking to uh, put it on the 410 frame here and then somehow get some nice stock looking tires to match. This body and this uh, truck build will we'll have a full box with a wood bed and a full interior. And uh, we're looking to get a wheel that's going to have a, stock, a good looking stock look. Uh, something that you would see going down the road or a farm truck. And uh, we're looking to have a tire size that's just right to fit into this wheel well opening, which is actually kind of an odd size on this 56 Ford. So, with the kind of a squarish look, now we've added a little rubber uh, fender on here, as you can see, just to give it a little bit of trim, and uh, that helps out quite a bit with the look of the truck. But uh, for tire choices, we have uh, we had a look at all the 1.9 stuff. I mean, we have these uh, aluminum uh, stock 1.9s here. A GCM and of course as you can see you put a 1.9 rim and a standard 1.9 tire in here and uh, that's way too big so I mean the next option was to go for a 1.9 rim but then use a much smaller diameter tire so this tire here is an RC four-wheel drive rock creeper and you can see it's considerably smaller than a than a 1.9 flat iron would be this tire is about a three and a half diameter and uh, 3.8 I guess and the flat iron is a 4.2 inch diameter so it's quite a bit smaller but um, you can see uh, when we fit that in there it definitely fits in the wheel well better but the rim size is still too big it doesn't look scale so if we put that aside and have a look I mean what are the options now if we go to a 1.55 wheel this is an RC four wheel drive steely and these are fantastic rims uh, for getting that scale 15 inch wheel look and this body is actually kind of a 15 uh, would fit a 15 inch rim so the body itself is probably a 1 -tenth scale this is a rim that would be about a 15 inch wheel and you can see there's a lot of wheel well in here now if we start putting these uh, dirt grabbers on here we're gonna end up with a tire that's uh, almost too small for the build so as a four wheel drive truck we needed a little more tire and instead of going to buy some MTZs or something like that to fit on these rims, we thought we would actually just take the tires that we want to use, which is the Rock Creepers, and bring them down to a tire diameter that would fit onto this rim and also fit the proportions of the body. Well, how do you do that? I mean, we have a flat iron at 4.3. We have a Rock Creeper at 3.8. We need a tire that's considerably bigger than the RC four-wheel drive dirt grabber which is only at three inches very small tire so we needed a tire that was like this 3.3 bigger than the three inch dirt grabber and uh, a little bit more meat on the tire a little bit more tread so this is what we're looking for 
So how do you get this rock creeper tire to come down to a 3.3 .3 diameter? Well, you cut it. We cut four lugs out of the tire. And you can see how this works. That's how it is. So we cut this much out of this tire and it was no more complicated than uh, just we just located the spot between the lettering where there was a slot in the tire with no lettering so that when we glue it back together it'll have a nice match and we're actually just going to cut the tire right off so in this case we're using our Lexan scissors and we're going to cut the tire straight across the top just like that and match it up on the other side there we go now we'll count our four lugs here so we've got the double notch lug here we're gonna skip one two three four take out the fourth lug and make sure you cut it on the proper side of the next lug so when you glue it together you've got the right amount of material left we'll give this a cut here all the way around over the top this tire uh, the pattern on the tread works really well for cutting we can actually uh, take off just the right amount of tread here to get these to match up perfectly just do a little trim on this make it straight just like that all right now to glue the tire back together all you need to do is hit this thing up with a little bit of CA and put an elastic on it and you get this so we put some CA on the edge of the of the tire right here just a little line of CA and then you just touch them together so that the glue will connect the treads and then when you have a chance you get your elastic out and you put your elastic over the tire like this that's it you let that thing sit for a half an hour and that's going to be glued on there real solid after these are glued these are really strong I mean that's the joint right there and they are surprisingly strong I didn't really believe that this could be this this well done and this easy but it really is this easy it was just a really thin amount of CA on the joint and an elastic and 20 minutes of time and there you go you're done now this is the perfect size now for our 1.55 steely and I mean come on this looks hot like this is a nice beefy off-road tire we've got a nice looking original equipment 15 inch size rim for our 10th scale truck and as you can see we've got one mounted up here on the 410 frame you know there you go this looks hot right here this is one hot unit so we've got a nice off-road tire now it fills the wheel well real nice when we get our body mount on here it'll be just about this exact height we're probably gonna have it lifted just the smallest amount right about there and uh, the truck is gonna have a nice looking stock size tire to match the size of the body the wheels fit inside the wheel well so when we're doing our cornering and stuff we're actually going to clear the wheel well and uh, it's got a really nice looking old-fashioned stock look so that's the solution right there is cutting four lugs out of the tire I'm really happy with how these turned out and uh, as you can see this is a it's just a fantastic way to make use of a set of tires that weren't quite the right size so I highly recommend the tire cutting method taking four lugs out of a rock creeper for instance gives you just the right tire for a 1.55 rim and uh, we're really excited to get going on the rest of this build and also excited to make use of these tires that we already had and make use of the rims that we already had uh, unfortunately our original tire size was just a bit too small so I think we fixed it this looks great and that's our addition of tire cutting for the GCM garage hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the GCM garage 
We have uh, one little quick video here today just to talk about tire foams. Uh, it's really important when you're trying to set up a scale truck that you get the tire squish just right. So, for example, when the tire is sitting on the ground in the truck, you want to make sure that it has a little bit of squish down. Not so it's jacked up high sitting in the middle of the tire. You want to make sure that the tire with the weight on the truck has a little bit of weight on it like this. So it looks like the tire is kind of going a little bit flat. And uh, the way you can do that is to make sure that your tire foam is sized appropriately for the tire. So, for instance, this here is a uh, axial rip saw, the 1.9. This comes with the dingo kit and uh, on a variety of other uh, trucks. And so you can get this tire uh, with the stock foam, with the stock gray foam, and uh, when you use this on the axial rim, which is a glue-on, the tire uh, outside diameter, as you can see, is just a little bit larger than the actual foam. And if you look at the inside, the inside of the foam is basically the same as the diameter of the inside of the tire. So if you were to glue this onto a rim, you'd have no problem with the tire squish. The tire squish would be minimal at best. Now. With our scalers, we like to have the tire squish just a little bit more than that. We like the tire squish to kind of compress the sidewall just a little bit. So on our uh, install, we're going to put these axial rip saws onto the uh, dingo kit using a beadlock rim. Now our beadlock rims have an inside collar uh, that's a little bit bigger diameter than the plastic rim is because uh, the collar locks the two sides of the diff together of the um, beadlock together. So we're going to cut the, the foam to make sure that when the inside of the foam grows a little bit with the beadlock, the diameter on the outside doesn't change. Now the way we're doing that is we've taken the original foam and we've actually just snipped off a little bit. We've cut a little bit off all the way around as you can see. So the diameter is just slightly smaller now than it was before. That way when we install the, the foam into the tire, there's going to be lots of room for the foam to uh, leave the tread on the trail. You want to make sure that when you're driving around with the scale truck, you're getting the maximum traction out of your tire. Now these tires happen to be pretty sticky. You can see they're uh, so sticky you have a hard time getting the foam in them. We'll just roll that around just like this. And that's, uh, that sits nice. So when this is sitting on the ground right now, it almost has the right tire squish just the way it is right now, without any truck weight on it. So when we put the weight on it with the truck and the rim, we should have a nice tire squish on there. Not too much, but just enough so that the tread is going to sit flat. You don't want the tread sticking up at the crown like this. The tread right now in its natural position is high. We want it to sit kind of flat so it's got the maximum contact on the ground. Now there's a couple other ways you can do that. Instead of cutting around the outside diameter like this, just cutting all the way around, you can also star cut it. The easiest way to do this, we've done this on our crawler foams. This is a J concept for a 2.2. The easiest way to do this is to trace a pattern on the inside diameter to make sure that you don't cut too far. And you know that you've got just enough foam all the way around to make sure you have a nice clear path all the way around. Then uh, you can cut out each slice into a V. So what happens now is when the tire is rolling, the foam is actually compressing like this. This is the reason why this works. Because as the tire is rolling, the foam, these two layers of foam will actually come together. And they come together and give space for the tread to sit flat. So if we were to try to keep this round here, and roll this flat, you can see that the, the compression squishes the V. That's another technique on getting the tire to squish without losing the sidewall or the thickness of the foam. Now in our case, we're just going to cut the outside and uh, let's get these installed on the truck on our bead locks and uh, have a look at how they sit. Alright, so let's have a look at these uh, new tires we've installed here with our cut foams. There's our dingo here and uh, we really like these. We like the way they look on the truck. We like the way they squish on the rocks. 
You can see here on the tire at the front, there's just a small little rock there, but uh, that makes a big difference to have the foams cut. I mean, you can see here, the tire, there's almost nothing in there. So with the cut foam, we've got actually room for the tire to squish on the rocks, pretty much just with the weight of the truck. And then when you start rolling in the front, like with the, uh, when you get to the rock, the tire conforms. I mean, have a look at that front tire. It conforms right around the rock so that the tire's got the maximum amount of bite. And that's really, really great for performance. So I'm going to go hit the trails with this thing and have a look at how these work. But so far, I'm really happy with the cut foams and the rip saws. This is going to be great.